Hello, I'm Dan Alford. Welcome to the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. Today we're talking about narrow gap welding, which is the most efficient way to weld thick sections. There's numerous techniques that you can use. What we're going to be talking about today is gas tungsten arc welding, which is typically used for extremely critical parts which have very low tolerance for weld defects. Unfortunately, it's very hard to weld a vertical wall with gas tungsten arc welding. You really need the arc and the wire to impinge directly on the wall to get good side wall fusion. And what we've had to do is invent our own narrow gap torch with both servo tungsten and servo wire feed, which was what we're going to talk about today. But first, let's talk about narrow gap welding. Typical weld joints are 75 degree included angle. With a 75 degree included angle, you've got a huge weld volume. Problem with that is it takes time, it takes weld metal, it adds to your distortion, and most problematic of all is every inch of weld has potential for defects. So if we can reduce that weld volume, we can reduce your welding time, improve your efficiency, and reduce your defects. Let's talk about how we did it. So what we've done is we've taken a standard ARC-5 PL welding system, which is normally used for cladding, and we have added a narrow gap torch. And this narrow gap torch is unique in that not only can we oscillate the tungsten and impinge on the wall, we can also oscillate the wire. And they're totally independent. They're both servo controlled. So you can see that we're actually leading with the tungsten. This is exactly what you would do if you were welding this joint by hand. You would point towards the wall and then bring the wire in behind you. We're running hot wire because one problem with gas tungsten arc welding is deposition rate. And with hot wire, you can speed up that deposition rate. So what you're seeing here is we're going to be leading with the arc, trailing with the wire, and we're going to be adding heat through resistance heating of the wire using a hot wire process. This is the bottom view of it. You can see the tungsten, see how it leads the wire back and forth. And then the wire is coming out of an electrically hot contact tip. We're running AC hot wire because it doesn't disturb the arc, and it automatically compensates for variations in electrodes stick out and in wire feed speed. Really simplifies matters. So the torch is going down into the groove right now. We're going to initiate the arc with high frequency. You see the arc voltage controller lift off and now the part is moving. We're actually the part is rotating from left to right because with hot wire you always feed into the back of the puddle. So here's a Zyrus image with a Zyrus camera and you can see that we're watching at the back side of the joint and the puddle is trailing the arc, the tungsten is fusing against the wall, and the wire is coming into the back of the puddle. We're resistance heating the wire so that it goes in hot. This improves deposition rate, but deposition rate isn't our prime goal. It's all about sidewall fusion. With narrow gap welding, it's very easy to get sidewall lack of fusion defects, which must be removed later. So that's the whole point of this new torch. If you were in this narrow groove with a TIG torch, you would do exactly the same thing this torch is doing. You'd be pointing the tungsten to the wall to ensure good fusion, and then you'd be moving the wire. By having dual independent servo control of the wire and the tungsten, we're able to create any possible pattern of oscillation of the torch and the wire in any dwell pattern. This allows us to truly optimize the sidewall fusion. And by using hot wire, we're able to double the deposition rate. We've never been happy with any of the commercially available narrow gap torches, so we took it upon ourselves to build this. I believe that this will address many of the shortcomings of the systems on the market today. We look forward to posting new episodes of the Arc Specialties Weld of the Week. If you're one of the thousands of operators of Arc Specialties equipment around the world and you have a weld that you would like to showcase, please contact us. At Arc Specialties, we thrive on problems. Send us yours.